Hey, this is Harrison Jones with Harris Holsters. Today I'm going to show you guys a video of the process we go through to make your holsters. First, we're going to start with forming the actual mold on the Swift Press. Right here, I've got a piece of plastic heating up. It's actually the temperature now. So I'm going to turn this pump on. Good suction around the mold with this frame. Now we're going to take a temperature here. Still got to get just a little bit cooler. Now we are at temperature. So we're at temperature right now. I'm gonna take this, just kind of go around the edges, work it a little bit, and our mold is off. All right, guys. Next, we'll move on to the next step. All right, the mold is completely cooled down now. It's probably around the room temperature, maybe five degrees more. And I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but we have little index points jutting out here. And those are our hole patterns for our retention and our hardware. And on the inside, of course, it's actually a pocket. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set it down on these two tube boards right here. I've got my electric drill. Stick the drill bit in the uh, pocket. Get a nice clean hole. All right, I'm going to do the rest of this, and then I'll be back with you guys in a few minutes. All right, so now I've finished drilling the holes in the patterns. What I'm going to do now, I've got a different kind of bit right here. And what this is going to do is this is going to clean up the holes a little bit. So just put it in, run it a little bit. And I'll do this on both the outside and the inside of the mold. All right, we're back right now with the mold and we're going to take this and I right here I have a template that I've made. So we're going to trace the top part of the holster, the opening, the mouth. And then we'll move over to the bandsaw. All right, guys. Done. <laughs> Alright guys, now what we're going to do is we are going to turn this into this. And as you can see, what I've done here is I've actually finished the edges on the top, but the sides, all I've done is deburr. We'll match this up later during the process. Just put my safety goggles on.
now we're going to move on to sanding the top edges, then we're going to burr the whole thing. All right, right now we've got the shell, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to sand right here to recess the area a little bit. That way, when you go in to draw, it's not going to rub your fingers. You're going to, the only thing you're going to hit with the inside of your middle finger is the frame itself. We're going to do that on both sides, and then I'm also going to sand up through here just to get a smooth, even finish. And then we'll move on to the polisher where we'll deburr all the edges and then polish this top edge around here. All right, guys. Safety goggles. All right, this stage of the holster, these edges right here on the sides are very rough. That's fine because we're going to finish that up later. These sides have smoothed out a little bit. We've still got slag and just burrs on the side. And what we're going to do is we're going to take those down with this bucking well. Now we have a shell with the edges polished. We're going to set it down on this heat tape, let it heat up, and then I'll fold it. All right, so this is heated up now. It's pliable. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this folding drain right here, lock it in, make sure everything's tight. We've got this clamp over the trigger guard. And then we just got to let it sit till it cools down. All right. We're back and we've got the uh, folded drone right here, or the folded uh, molding right here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut this to a Glock 19 length, Glock 19 length, and I'm gonna trim off these edges right here so everything's gonna match perfectly. All right guys, let's do this. Finish cutting the edges right here along here. So what I'm going to do now is sand this, smooth it out a little bit so I can get ready to buff and cut off the sharp edges right here and even up all the sides. All right, guys. All right, here we go. We've just finished sanding down these edges, matching everything up. And right now we've still got some slag. So we're going to remove that with our coarse buffing wheel. taking all the rough edges off this with the sander. Then I went with buffer, deburred everything, got it nice and smooth. So now we're gonna put a little bit of shine on with this buffing wheel. Okay guys, so you've just finished watching the final polishing process of the holsters. From there, we take them, we rinse them off, make sure we get any uh, marks from the pencils off and all the dust and particles out of them. And then we take them to assembly after they dry just put on the necessary hardware for your order. If you order multiple hardware types, attachment types, what we'll do is we'll just put in the retention hardware, leave it like that, and then we stamp them with our Harry's holster stamp. Okay guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, just comment below or reach out to me by email. Please visit our website, harrysholsters.com, and like, subscribe, and I'll see you all next time.